In other news, amidst all the campaign coverage, a new congressional report about illegal Obamacare payments appear to have slipped from the headlines. But some conservatives in Congress want to make voters understand that the constitutional balance of power is at stake. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. According to the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, for certain people with lower incomes who buy silver-level health care plans, not only does the government pay a portion of the health insurance premiums with a tax payment, but the government also separately pays the insurer to make the coverage more generous. These are called cost-sharing reduction payments. And Congressman Tim Murphy says a new Commerce Committee report details how these illegal payments were made and the Obama administration's stonewalling of Congress in failing to explain them. And although Congress under the Affordable Care Act authorized uh, some funding for them, it, it did not appropriate. And that's extremely important. Let me read you from the Constitution of the United States, Article 1. It says, no money shall be drawn from the Treasury but in consequence of appropriations made by law. And then they actually have to give a statement about what that was spent on. When we asked them specifically about this, we had to subpoena records. They stonewall us. They wouldn't come speak before our committee. Uh, the secretary of HHS wouldn't come. But the report says the Obama administration has spent some $7 billion on cost-sharing reduction payments as part of Obamacare. Murphy says voters should be concerned. This is an incredibly dangerous precedent. If Congress sits back and allows this, that means any president can do this for any of their pet projects going forward. The American people ought to be screaming about this and saying, you are not allowed to do this. The Constitution says you can't. If Congress allows its authority to be circumvented on the health care issue, its authority could be subverted on other issues, says Edmund Heiselmeyer, a health policy research fellow at the Heritage Foundation. There's a lot of implications here. I mean, you think about this happens to be health care, but what about, uh, we, we see stories about this all the time where maybe the Pentagon wants a program and Congress decides to kill it. Okay, well, can they keep the program alive by shuffling money around from somewhere else if Congress has said, no, we're not going to appropriate money for that program? I mean, you know, this case might be about health care. The next one might be about a program in the Defense Department. Who knows? So that is why it is a significant issue. The report will be more evidence in a lawsuit that the House has brought against the administration, a suit which so far the administration appears to be losing. John Hines, One American News, Washington.